Welcome, my friend. It's Frank Collaborative Jr. This is going to be video number five. Video number five. And this is going to be on Bitcoin tools and resources. Okay. So this is going to be the final video in our Bitcoin beginner guide. I'm going to keep this really basic. And these are some tools and some resources that you're definitely going to want to know about. Okay. When I first got started in Bitcoin, Bitcoin was about six years old. And you know, there was not a lot of content out there. A lot of people just didn't understand it. And I had to find all of this stuff on my own. Like nobody showed me anything. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple basic things. You're probably going to want to bookmark some of these things. And as you go forward in your cryptocurrency knowledge, you will discover many, many more things. I'm not going to show you several hundred things and overwhelm you. I want to show you some basic things that you're definitely going to want to uh, use some things you're definitely going to want to bookmark and you'll discover more stuff. You're going to discover a lot more stuff as you learn and grow. So the first thing I want to, you're definitely going to want to know is Bitcoin price. Okay. This is something you're definitely going to want to, you don't have to look at it every day. You can, and you probably will. <laughs> I look at it often. Okay. But I don't, I'm long in Bitcoin, meaning I'm 10 years long. I don't really care what the day-to-day -day price is. I know the price is going to $300,000. I know the price can go to a million dollars or two and a half million dollars or three and a half million dollars. I know it can go there. So I don't really pay attention to the daily price, okay? I've also seen Bitcoin correct and go and lose 80% of its value. Those of them that have been around a while, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen it. You've seen Bitcoin rise to extremes and fall to extremes. We've seen it at least three times that I can remember, okay? And it could happen again, okay? So, you know, I don't really care about the day-to-day -day price, but what you can do is you can bookmark these. And what I got, let me show you what I got right here. What I do is I just set up these little tabs. I got a, a folder up here that says Bitcoin. And if I just want to know the price, I can quickly just click on it and presto, I'm there, okay? There's all kinds of phone apps and all this other kind of stuff too. You'll discover all that. I'll show you a couple of phone apps that I use, okay? But a simple Google search, you can get the basic Bitcoin price, okay? And like I said, you can just grab that and slide it into a folder and you can bookmark it, but I've already got it in there, but you can just slide it down in there and bookmark it, okay? These are some of the Bitcoin uh, things that I go to often. And I just slide them down in here so I can just click on them quickly and go to something very fast. So you're definitely going to want to follow the Bitcoin price and know where to find it. But you can do something as simple as a Google search. There's hundreds of ways to look up the Bitcoin price, as you will soon discover. You're going to discover there's ridiculous amount of content now and resources, especially from when I got started in Bitcoin. Here's another good one right here, a good resource called Live Coin Watch. This is something you're probably going to want to bookmark, Live Coin Watch. Now, this thing has got, I'm going to show you a couple things about this. This thing is pretty cool for several reasons. You've got all the coins listed, and they rank them, okay? They rank them in order, and you can get a little more detailed data. You Not only will you get the price, you're going to get the market cap, you're going to get the 24-hour uh, volume, the all-time high, that kind of stuff. You'll get more stuff, and if you actually click on these, you'll get even more data. Let me click on Bitcoin, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, there it goes. And if you click on the coin, for example, Bitcoin, you get even more data for those that want all the technical analysis and everything. This thing is pretty awesome. They've got price charts and you can customize this price chart. They've got all the markets uh, for Bitcoin, like places that you can buy Bitcoin or sell Bitcoin. And it's crazy now. It's like the resources are just insane. You can see there's something like 817 uh, markets or pages, or I guess this is markets, or is this pages? I'm not really sure, guys. But anyway, you guys can click on this and mess around with this because Bitcoin's huge. It's everywhere now. What else you got? You got the, uh, the bids and the ask price. You can see what's going on right there. So there's a lot of resources, and that's why I like this Live Coin Watch website. You also get, if you're doing research, this is very helpful, if you're doing research, what is Bitcoin? Like, what is it? Like, or any coin, and I'll show you another coin in a moment, but it can tell you a quick breakdown and it explains what Bitcoin is, okay? Then you got some uh, tweets right here, some social media kind of stuff. 
And there's just this is just an awesome, awesome website if you want to track the price. Now, there's also all the prices for all the coins. So you got Ethereum, you got Binance, you got uh, USDT, which is always going to be a dollar or close to it. You got Chainlink, Litecoin, all of them. And they're ranked in order. You can actually heart these things and favorite them, okay, the coins that you like. Now, Dogecoin, here's one that's popular. I don't even understand what the heck Dogecoin is. I don't own Dogecoin, but you hear about it a lot. It's getting a lot of press. If you click on it, you can get all the technical an analysis on, on Dogecoin. You can see the price chart. And I think this coin is basically just all hype. I don't even think there's uh, there's much to it. And it says right here, what is Dogecoin? Because I don't even know what the heck it is, right? Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency, which main feature is that is the likeness of she and dog. I don't know how to say that. And new dog. And it was initially induced as a joke. But, but Dogecoin quickly developed into its own online community, reaching a market cap of $60 million in January 2014. While there are few mainstream commercial applications, Dogecoin's infamy has helped the currency uh, has helped the currency gain notoriety and traction. Okay, and Dogecoin is used for tips for users for providing interesting and noteworthy content. So. When I buy a coin, I want to know the utility. Like, what's the use for the coin? What's the real world use for the coin? I don't buy coins unless I know how it can be used, how it can be exchanged. I am actually paid in a couple different coins, okay, from various offers, products, and services. So just once again, it's just basic research. It's only like two paragraphs, but it'll give you an overview of what the coin is used for. And it says right here, there's very few mainstream commercial applications for Dogecoin. Okay, I'm not picking on Dogecoin. I don't own Dogecoin. I don't care if you have it or not. It's all cryptocurrency is, a, is an experiment, guys. All of it is an experiment, okay? So you pick and choose the coins you like. I think I only own about six different coins. I only collect about six different coins. So I just wanted to point this one out. Here's a good one to bookmark. You can slide it into your folder that says Bitcoin. And this is called Live Coin Watch. Very good uh, resource for getting price, okay? And more uh, technical data if you really want to deep, you know, dig deep into it. Here's something you're definitely going to want to bookmark right here. Something called Coin Market Cap. And once again, nobody showed this to me. I had to find it myself. Very popular website. And once again, this ranks the coins. It's going to show you stuff like we just uh, talked about there over that in that live site. And once again, you're going to get a lot of really good technical analysis if you want to dig in or you just want to do a quick glance and see where your coins are, see what's going on. And there's all kinds of other stuff going on over here. I'm not going to click on all these tabs. You can play a lot around with the functionality over here. Okay. You can see all the exchanges. You can build a portfolio. You can build a watch list. You can actually create an account and sign up for this coin market cap and it'll probably give you even more functionality okay and then you can actually log in but if you just want to visit this site there's good data and it's available coin market cap extremely popular you're definitely going to want to bookmark this one okay all right here's something that i had to figure out on my own what if you wanted to look up your bitcoin wallet address or any bitcoin address how do you do that well I give you a couple different tools. There's many ways of doing this now. But once again, I'm trying to keep this training very basic. I'm not trying to give you several hundred sites to click on. I'm giving you a couple things, basic things to click on and bookmark. Okay, here's one you're definitely going to want to bookmark. This is blockchain.com forward slash explorer. And here's what you can do is you can type in a wallet address. Let me, I got a wallet address and a notepad. I'm going to grab a random address. Let's go ahead and copy that. And let me just show you quickly what you can do here. We're going to hit Control Victor, paste that in. We're going to hit Enter. And we're going to click right here at BTC Address. And what that'll do is you can actually paste in your wallet address. And it says right here, once again, we're just using a random Bitcoin address. It says right here there's 15 transactions uh, attached to this address. Total received is 711 Bitcoin. And total sent is zero in the final balance, okay? And then it shows the transaction history of this particular wallet address, okay? So this is block, 
Explorer. It's called Block Explorer, okay? And you can play around with this. You can USD, for example, time this video is being made, there's like $38 million in this particular wallet. You can flip back over to Bitcoin, okay? And that's how you can explore an address, any address, okay? That's how it works, guys. It's pretty simple. I also gave you another tool. Let's see right here. Uh, Bitcoin.com Block Explorer. Here's another popular one. I use this one quite often, too. I got both of these bookmarked. Control Victor. Let's paste that in there. This is pretty cool, too. Let me show you this one. What this one will do is, once again, it'll break down the transactions in a little more detail. It shows the 15 transactions. There's a functionality button right here where you can flip from dollars back to Bitcoin. Okay? You can see right there a little slider. And then you can click on all this data. And once again, I, I use this actually quite often, especially when I'm getting Bitcoin payments that are coming in quite often. Everything's time and date stamped. It's pretty cool. It's like a journal, a running journal, live journal. And you can just uh, key in your Bitcoin address. Okay, so that's another one you're probably going to want to bookmark. I actually got that one right here. Bitcoin uh, Block Explorer. Very popular for looking up stuff. So I wanted to show you those two resources these are definitely two things you want to bookmark and you're definitely going to want to save. Okay. All right. Here's another cool resource. Bitcoin rich address list. Let me show you how this one works. Once again, this is something I just discovered on my own, right? Now this is fascinating because what this does, and once again, they got to, you can look up any address in here, right? You can do a search, but what this does is it breaks down the Bitcoin distribution it shows you the amount of wallet addresses and then the amount of coins inside of those addresses and it breaks it down by percentage. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. Let's just say you have more than one Bitcoin and less than 10 Bitcoin, okay? Now it says right here, there's 67,000, I'm sorry, 675,047 addresses, which makes up 1.58, 1.85% and which is what 2.2% of all the Bitcoin, I believe the second number is, I believe that's correct. Uh, don't quote me on that one. But anyway, I just want to show you how if you have more than a Bitcoin, less than 10 Bitcoin, you're in the top 2% in the world for Bitcoin holdings. It's amazing, guys. I mean, people think that they're late to Bitcoin when in reality, there's they're early to Bitcoin. If you have an entire Bitcoin, and I've said this many times before, in the future, only the super rich will have an entire Bitcoin. If you have an entire Bitcoin, man, I'd be hanging on to that like you can't even believe. But you can see, all right, you scroll down. And wallets that have between 10 Bitcoin and 100 Bitcoin, there's 132,420 in the whole world. Now you're getting down into just fractions of a percent, like about 0.36% of addresses have that amount of Bitcoin. So now you're in the elite category, right? Super elite, I guess you could say. And so on and so forth. You guys can read this, okay? So it's pretty interesting. And then what it does is it ranks the top three richest addresses in the world. It's amazing, guys. And this is the public ledger, okay? You can click on this address and look it up, and it's fascinating. And, you know, 495 transactions on this wallet, the first uh, out, the last out, all kinds of data, okay? I'll just scroll down a little bit so you guys can see this, but you guys can play around with this, okay? It's pretty fascinating. And, you know, it shows you where basically you fall in as far as distribution of Bitcoin, okay? Pretty amazing, guys. Pretty, pretty amazing. Definitely going to want to bookmark that one. All right. What else we got? What else we got? Let's close out some of these windows. We got a whole bunch of stuff open. Okay, here's a resource, and I actually use this. You don't always need to go to an exchange to trade out cryptocurrencies. If you don't need to create accounts and do this and do that, eventually you're going to do all that kind of stuff. But if you need coins quickly, say for example, you need some Tron, like I needed some Tron, some TRX quickly. I went to this website called SimpleSwap. And I got Tron in about 20 minutes. And it was probably faster than that because when I came back and checked, I already had the Tron in my wallet. So what this uh, site does is it allows you to trade one cryptocurrency for the other. 
You guys can play around with this. You can put in, you know, how, what you want to send as far as coins and then what you want to get as far as coins. Once again, you can play around with this. And let me just close this out. And then you can exchange, okay, and, and put in the address where you want it to send to. And just walk through this. It's a very simple three-step process. And the awesome thing about this is you don't need an account. You don't need to set up nothing. You're basically swapping coins. And there's something like 300-something coins listed where you can trade out one coin for another. So if you need cryptocurrency fast, okay, and you don't want to set up accounts, go, for ver go through verification uh, procedures and KYC and all this kind of nonsense. And actually, the rate... The exchange rate is pretty low. It's not bad. You can check it out for yourself, but I'm just showing you this resource, and this is something you're definitely going to want to drag this down into your uh, folder and use this, okay? Definitely use this. Bookmark this and use this if you run into a situation where you want to trade out one cryptocurrency for another and do it quickly. Like I said, I've used this before. It's been as fast as 20 minutes, and it's probably even faster than that, and it's pretty awesome. And I also gave you a second one called Coin Switch. We popped that one open, and it works the same way, okay? There's two different things that do the same thing. So I'm just giving you two different resources, okay? Once again, you can read all this. You guys can go through this. But if you're in a situation where you want to trade out some coins, one for the other, just swap them out. Pretty simple. It shows you how to, it walks you right through this. It's like a three-step process. They also have buy with bank card, Visa, and MasterCard. You can actually buy coins with the Visa and MasterCard. And the other one is, is also offers that service. It says right here, uh, fiat to crypto exchanges are now available in MasterCard and Visa. So you can also buy crypto with a credit card. Once again, you guys can figure out how this works. It's pretty simple, but I'm just showing you this resource, okay? You can also download it on the, you know, the App Store and Google Play, whatever you guys want to do, but... Pretty awesome resources right there. Okay, a couple of apps. Now, there are several hundred apps now, and I'm not even kidding you. I mean, it's just ridiculous, the amount of apps now. But I'll just show, show you a couple of apps that I use. I got a couple of apps on my phone. You can research this. You can, you know, download the one that you like the best. This one I use all the time. This is one that I actually have on my phone, Crypto News. And what I like about this one is, and I actually have the paid version, which I really like. What does it cost? $30 a year. Okay, you don't have to get the paid version. You can get the free version. But for me, I like the paid version. I like the things that I can do with it. I use it all the time. Okay, you don't have to buy any of this stuff. You can get the free version. Now, a cool thing about this is I get the news on my phone. And also, I can build a portfolio. I can track the coins that I like. There's all kinds of cool stuff I can do with this. And this is just one of the apps that's on my phone that I use daily and I like. You might find something else you like even better than this. Like I said, now there are several hundreds of these things. If you look over on the right-hand side of the screen, I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous now how many of these things that there are, these apps. And they do all kinds of cool stuff. It all depends on what you want to do, okay, what you're trying to track. But I really like this one. I've downloaded this one. And I put this below the video. So if you do want to download this one, it's right there. We've got it on the Google Play Store or the App Store. Okay, Crypto News is one that I personally use. Another one that I personally use, and there could be, I could have put a list of several hundred in here. But I'm just showing you two of them that I personally use. Here's one called CoinStats, which I really like. CoinStats. Here's another one that's on my phone. And believe I have the free version of this one. I don't know if there is a paid version. Maybe there is. They're usually paid versions of everything. And the paid version, it eliminates the advertising, all that kind of stuff. But here's another one that I use often. It's on my phone. And I like this one. Same thing. You can build like a list. You can check out what's going on with the coins. There's all kinds of functionality with this one. This one's pretty cool too. So there it is. There's just a couple of apps that you can download onto your phone or you can find something else that you like. I'm just going to share with you guys two that I personally use. All right, well, I'm going to scroll down and buy and sell Bitcoin. Now, this list could be go on forever now. <laughs> Once again, man, it's fascinating the choices that we have. And there's no one size fits all exchange or wallet in cryptocurrency, which if you haven't figured that out yet, you will figure that out, okay? 
It all depends on what you're going to use cryptocurrency for, how you're going to use it. Is it for work? Is it a hobby type thing? Are you an affiliate marketer? Do you get paid in cryptocurrency? There's so many variables. So there's not like, hey, this is the exchange that you should be using. This is the wallet that you should be using. You got to use what fits your lifestyle, right? So here's just a couple of basic places where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. I kept this list kind of short, okay? There probably should be some other ones on here, but I just wanted to keep it super simple for a brand new person. I think I have all of these, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, of course, I started off with Coinbase. That's the first place I started off. Didn't even know where to start with Bitcoin. That's where I started off. Still use Coinbase from time to time. Still use it for certain things, certain applications, that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, another one, Uphold. I set up that one pretty early in my Bitcoin career. And I still use that one. Uh, not a lot, but I still use it. It does make it convenient uh, in some instances uh, for some applications, for some things. I do have Trust Wallet on my phone. That's pretty cool. I do have Cash App on my phone. I actually do use that frequently, not only for fiat, but you can also uh, buy Bitcoin with Cash App. So I just wanted to give you a couple of basic places where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. Okay, this is basically kind of like the starter guide, the starter list. But you can go way beyond this, okay? That I can promise you. All right. Now, Bitcoin news. Once again, this is just overwhelming now because crypto is just huge, man. The market is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as time goes on. Let me just show you a couple of basic ones, okay? These are some of the more popular ones, okay? Bitcoin.com, pretty awesome place to get Bitcoin news, okay? You guys can bookmark this one if you like it there's all kinds of cool articles it's pretty awesome guys this is a pretty good place to get news okay and there's several hundred places now where you can get your bitcoin news but this is a good place to get some news this one is extremely popular also bitcoin exchange guide once again pretty awesome place to get all kind of news they got a menu bar up here with all kind of stuff too they got education this is pretty cool They'll actually give you like mining 101. So if you want to learn, all right, how does mining work? What is mining? There it is. Trading 101. And then wallets 101. Okay. They also have blockchain 101 and what is Bitcoin. So they got some newbie style training in here that you might want to check out, especially if you're brand new to Bitcoin. Okay. I wanted to point that out. This education tab definitely go through this okay and then you got you know the news for each different coins and then you got the exchange news all kind of stuff you got live prices okay you guys can play around with this one this is definitely one that you want to bookmark okay bitcoin exchange guide very good resource all right what else coindesk this is popular coindesk is very popular another one same thing guys lots and lots of news outlets Lots and lots of resources. You can mess around with all the functionality up here. Okay, latest news, the opinions, features, videos, markets, tech. They break it down. Pretty awesome. Learn. They got a learn tab. 101 guides. They got 101 too here. So also they got some beginning tutorial type training over here. And it's, you know, crypto is really about awareness. Okay, it's about awareness. People are becoming aware of this. And more and more people want to learn this. That was the whole reason why I put together this course Hundreds of people have asking me, Frankie, where do I start with Bitcoin? Do you have like a beginner guide? Do you have some place where I could start? Like, I just want to learn, like, not only people that are just marketers like myself and affiliate marketers like myself and network marketers, everyday people want to learn about uh, Bitcoin now. So that was the whole purpose of this course, to teach everybody, even an everyday person that wants to start learning about Bitcoin. Well, that's the whole purpose of this course. So that's a good one right there, guys. Cointelegraph. Here's another good one. I, I go over here pretty often also. I, I go to all these guys. These are all just awesome places to get news, okay? I'm just showing you some of the more popular ones. And this is not all of them. I'm just showing you some of the more popular ones. All right. What else do we got, guys? What else do we got? Crypto, uh, cryptonews.com. Cryptonews.com. Here's another one you could bookmark, okay? And if you're brand new, just bookmark a couple of these. I don't want to overwhelm you. I probably put too many of these in here, but I wanted you to be aware 
of these sites, okay? And this is that app that I use, okay? This is another place where I get news. We talked about this one earlier. You can download this, and I get a lot of my news just right on my phone because it's right there. It's convenient. I press a button, and presto, I see what's going on in the cryptocurrency world, okay? So that one's in there again. So there it is, guys. I wanted to keep this very this video very uh, basic, plain Jane, not overwhelm you, just give you the basics of what you really need if you're brand new to cryptocurrency and a Bitcoin, okay? The price, the top 100 coins ranked, you know, looking up a, a block wallet address, you're definitely going to want to bookmark these resources. That Bitcoin rich address, that's just a fascinating tool because it shows you the distribution of Bitcoin, okay? And then how to quickly trade one cryptocurrency for another without opening up an exchange account, okay? Sometimes it's just a pain to go through all that kind of stuff. Eventually, you're going to set up all that stuff. You're going to use all that stuff. But every once in a while, you're going to want to swap some coins in a hurry. And you're not going to want to mess around with all the, you know, the, the nonsense. Okay, jumping through hurdles and hoops and all that kind of stuff. Then I talked about, you know, the apps. You've got the places to buy and sell. Once again, just a starter guide. Okay, there's much more, many more places to buy and sell Bitcoin now. There's probably hundreds if not thousands by now places to buy and sell bitcoin okay and then bitcoin news a real basic plain jane list all right guys that's going to conclude frank collabo jr's bitcoin wallets getting started guide there it is the five videos i know i laid down a solid fundamental education for you there's no doubt i wish i had a course like this when i got started couldn't find it couldn't find it because it didn't exist Nobody knew what to do with Bitcoin when it first rolled out. And I wasn't, you know, I wasn't there in 2009 and 2010. I dragged my feet. And then when Bitcoin was about six years old, my eyes were opened to a whole new world, just like yours are now. And still, I still believe we're in the infancy stage of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It's an experiment. It's an exciting experiment. And people are using this as an exchange of value in a peer-to-peer -peer format. That's what really excites me, the freedom that goes into cryptocurrency. We don't have to ask permission to exchange value. If you want to exchange value with me or vice versa, we can do that using cryptocurrency. Pretty awesome, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this training. I certainly enjoyed teaching this. Stay close, guys. Stick around. Frank Calabro, Jr., signing off. Thank you.